In this video tutorial, we will teach suppliers and brokers how to run reports. We will run through the reporting process as a broker, but most of the steps apply to suppliers as well. To access reports, click the account icon in the top right corner. You will see a link to reports in the drop-down menu. At the top of your reports page, you will see instructions for running reports. If the report isn't loading, change your settings to allow for pop-ups. At the top of the page, click the red X to the right of the URL. Click Allow Pop-ups and refresh your page. In the instructions, brokers will also see a link to run invoice reports. Suppliers will see a link to run invoice reports with broker information. Once you've reviewed the instructions, begin running your report at the bottom of the page. Select your report type. You can choose from Purchase History, Sales Analysis Detail, and Sales Analysis Summary. Then select the date range. If you are running a sales analysis report, you will see data for period A and period B. Period A includes the dates you just selected for the current year. Period B is the same date range for the prior year. If you need to narrow down your data before running your report, you have the option to enter the dot item number, states or provinces, customer numbers, or product lines. Brokers will also have the option to select broker locations. If you don't need to narrow down your data, you can go ahead and click the Run Report button. If you're a broker, be sure to click the Update Customer List button before selecting customer numbers. If you don't, all customers that your brokerage represents will be displayed in the customer number and ship to list, but your report will only reflect customers from the state you selected. To choose multiple states or provinces, customers, product lines, or broker locations, click the control key on your keyboard while selecting each. Please note, if you want to include both active and inactive customers in your report, don't select any customer numbers. With everything entered, you are now ready to run your report. Your report will be retrieved instantly. Click one of the buttons at the top to export to Excel or CSV. These reports will not be saved on the website. We hope this video helps you run reports. If you have any questions, please contact our website support team.